as we see Adam Sella making his way into the arena. The former tough competitor, he's ready to go tonight. He said that this is all about redemption tonight. I'm ready, and he is gonna show it how it goes. But first up, it is going to be our featherweight title as Kevin Mueller takes on Trayvon Crawford. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our next bout of the evening, Trayvon Crawford. Coming to the cage tonight, it is Trayvon Crawford. He sports a 10 and six record in the world MMA and has been training for over four years. I have seen Trayvon fight on many occasions. He is ex an extremely tough opponent. He told me that he stays in camp constantly. There are no breaks. He was a shorter notice for this fight. He said, I'm always ready, and I feel completely honored that they gave me this opportunity for a title shot tonight. Yeah, that's what MMA fighters do. You know, they're always training, they're always in shape, they're always ready to take any opportunity that arises on short notice or not, doesn't matter to the MMA fighters. Trevin told me that he wants to put on a show tonight. He understands the entertainment aspect and says, I'm ready to go. Let's bring out his opponent tonight, Kevin Mueller. Coming to us by way of Mule MMA, it is Kevin Mueller out of Hazelwood, Missouri. This camp pushed him so much that it was all about the new technique, working movement and combos. Coming off a big win over Stan O'Dell in his last outing via triangle as we go to our tail of the tape. The glaring difference here is the height advantage of Kevin Mueller. Will Trayvon Crawford be able to get on the inside of that potential bigger reach? Yeah, and I'm assuming Kevin Mueller is gonna have that height advantage over most of the guys he fights at this weight class. So he's gonna be used to it. Is Trayvon Crawford gonna be used to fighting that much of a taller opponent? Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is for the 145 pound Shamrock title and a professional contract with Shamrock FC. Tonight, fighting out of the Chuck's Boots blue corner this evening. He stands five feet, seven inches tall. He weighs in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Trayvon Crawford. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the Robeck Realty Red Corner this evening. He stands at six feet, one inches tall, weighs in at 145.6 pounds. Fighting out of Hazelwood, Missouri, Kevin Mueller. It all is on the line for this as we get ready for our here it goes. Quick touch of the gloves. As you can see, Kevin Mueller is quite a bit taller here than Trayvon Crawford, but he is throwing those kicks with abandon. Big takedown from Crawford. Yeah, smart by Trayvon Crawford. He was using his legs, which are obviously longer than his arms, to try and get in the distance of Kevin Mueller. Big slam there coming from Crawford. Mueller doing a good job holding those overhooks, trying to get some position here. Yeah, one thing you're gonna need to watch out for on the taller fighter is the triangle. Long legs, right equal here. triangles. And Mueller is close to that triangle. Crawford trying to land some defense here. This is a terrible position for Crawford. That's close, Crawford is trying to defend with his legs though. Now Mueller needs to get the left arm of Crawford to the other side of his body. Nice work there by Trayvon Crawford. Yeah, Crawford very experienced, very relaxed. Didn't freak out, just fought out of that position. Needs to be careful not to end up in another triangle. Again, the long legs here of Mueller as he's working it again. Yeah, Mueller working in the Oma Plata position now. You know, a lot of times you'll see fighters use this Oma Plata position to almost to get a sweep to end up on top. It's very tough to finish in an MMA fight. 
or to potentially work back to a triangle. Crawford doing a good job here, stepping over, looking to block this position. Yeah, Crawford being very experienced, very relaxed, just intelligently working out of these positions that Mueller is putting him in. Crawford standing up, good idea here to get out of that guard. Under a minute remaining, firing the leg kicks down. Yeah, Mueller hasn't really made an attempt to get up. I think he wants to be on the ground with Crawford. Mueller definitely feels, oh, Crawford, Crawford fell. falls into a triangle position. He needs to posture up hard. 30 seconds remaining here in the first round of this featherweight title fight. What Mueller isn't doing, he's not getting the arm across the body. When you're throwing a triangle choke, you're choking them with your leg and their shoulder. That arm has to be across the body to complete the maneuver. 10 seconds remaining here in the first round. Crawford defending correctly. Nice hold out there for Trayvon Crawford. So, this becomes a striker versus grappler. Crawford had to fight out of three to four different submissions. If you're a judge, how do you call that? I'm gonna give it to Crawford. You know, I, I think he was on top doing damage, and to be quite honest, if Mueller would have got the arm over, he would have finished the triangle and won the fight twice. Uh, but I mean, I don't think, if you're in submission and they're almost finished, I'm giving you credit for them. Those weren't close to being finished because Mueller did not have him in the right position. Crawford really wasn't in danger because of the positioning, you know, because of the lack of positioning that Crawford didn't put him in the correct position to finish the choke. Round two, here we go. Now we're gonna see how much all of that groundwork from Mueller will take a toll on him. Huge leg kick from Crawford. Again, Mueller wants to keep this fight on the ground. Trayvon Crawford, very smart, steps away from it now. Yeah, Mueller has no problem being on his back. You know, he might have gotten a little, oh, that oh, left hook hurt him. That rocked him, he acknowledged it. You know, I'm thinking Mueller got a little coaching from his corner in between rounds on how to finish that triangle correctly. If he can end up on his again. back again. Another left hook, glances, hurts Mueller. Crawford having none of this ground action. The head movement here coming out of Crawford. Yeah, as relaxed as Crawford was on the ground, he was in danger a couple times. And if Mueller got a little coaching, he could finish that triangle. I think it's a great move by Crawford to keep this fight standing. Those leg kicks are nice scary. Leg kick. That wasn't Crawford falling down to guard. Crawford chopped that leg out from under him. Definitely. Mueller is real slow to get back up each time he's knocked down by Crawford. Another oh. leg kick. That hurt him. Crawford is punishing that leg. If I'm in Crawford's corner, I want him to back off, make Mueller get up. And go right back to chopping down that leg. That leg is starting to bruise. He's losing his ability to post off of it, trying to get the fight to the ground. Yeah, in MMA, you can't just pull guard. Fighters are not gonna fall for that. You need to get a takedown if you wanna get this fight to the ground. Again, Mueller has none of it as we're down to one minute remaining in round two. Crawford telling him, get back up. If I'm in Crawford, I'm firing off again. huge leg kicks. Every time Crawford touches Mueller, he's hurting him. And another, another leg, leg kick. kick. 
And Crawford again, shakes it off, no. Intelligently, Crawford makes him stand up. Literally, he is making him pay with every one of those leg kicks. Yeah, Mueller's having a lot of trouble standing on his front leg. 20 seconds remaining in round two. Now Mueller trying Mueller. to do something to get this fight to the ground. Yeah, finally Mueller at least shot in for a takedown and used that to pull guard. 10 seconds remaining here in the second round of this featherweight title fight. Jeremy Johnson along with Kevin Engel here. Big arm submission coming up here. Not working though at all for Trayvon Crawford. So now let's talk about the potential of the 10-8 round. Every one of those leg chops sent Mueller to the ground, whether he was trying to get to guard or not. How does that look in the judge's eyes? Yeah, you know, with the new unified rules, they want judges giving more 10-8 rounds. And I think that is, I think before they changed the rules, I would have given that a 10-8 round. So I think definitely, at least, I would bet all the judges gave him a 10-8 round in that one. Literally chopping the legs out every chance that he had. Yeah, Mueller needs to do something this round. He's, you know, just falling down and trying to pull guard is, is not gonna not gonna work for him. If I'm in the corner of Trayvon Crawford, just as we saw at the very end, Mueller pulled an armbar, you do not touch that ground yeah. if you can help it. Absolutely, stay away from the ground with Mueller. Here we go, third and final round. Who wants it more, ladies and gentlemen? Right then, I think as soon as Crawford moves out of the Boom, way. Boom, immediately with that big kick. Crawford fighting the takedown, looking for a triangle of his own, or a, excuse me, a guillotine of his own. He might have that guillotine, that's pretty tight. He needs to keep, he needs to keep Mueller from passing. And again, therein lies the problem with the guillotine. You have to go to your back to finish it. Now Mueller is on top in mount. Not where Trayvon Crawford wanted to be. If I'm in the corner of Crawford, do not get submitted. All you have to do is make it two minutes and you win this fight. Well, not necessarily. If the first round. It depends round, on how that first round went. We could be, depending on that 10-8, there could be a draw to this contest. Crawford still holding on to that trying, or I'm sorry, that guillotine position. Which is, this is not the position. You cannot finish a guillotine when you're mounted. It's not gonna happen. All you're doing is wasting your own energy and keeping yourself from getting up. Mueller gets his head out. Mueller needs to start firing off punches, trying to get Crawford to give something up so he can shoot for an arm bar. Halfway through the third and final round, Mueller has Crawford in a yep. bad position, taking He's his, back. his back. This would be insane if Mueller can pull this out. Mueller knows that he has to finish this contest. Mueller doesn't have any hooks in. Crawford needs to shoot his butt up and buck Crawford off, or buck Mueller off the top. Got to go out the back in this situation. Nice move by Trayvon Crawford. Crawford needs to stand up I and get stay away, away from, from Mueller. Crawford's got one minute left though. He needs to make this round count. He needs to win the rest of this round. Yeah, Crawford has got to fire this off and not get taken down again. This is not where Crawford wants to be. Not at all. But kudos to Mueller for getting in and getting some takedowns this round. 30 seconds remaining. These takedowns from Mueller might earn him a draw in this fight. Depending on how that 10, if it's a possible 10-8. Yeah. You know, there could be a, a, a ton of different outcomes of this fight depending on how the judges scored it. So we're down to just 15 seconds remaining in the third and final round. Crawford trying to sweep out here to try to end up on top. Big hands coming from Crawford. Oh, Big huge right one! Hand. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen, for the featherweight title here at Shamrock FC.
it all goes to the judges' scorecards for this contest. Kevin, give me your opinion. Well, I gave the first round to Crawford because I didn't think the submission attempts from Mueller were close to finishing. But as you, I, I think you would have given that round to Mueller. Exactly. In that case, it's a draw. I gave a 10-8 to Crawford in the second round. On I, my scorecard, I have Crawford winning. But I, there literally could be three different out, could be three different outcomes in this fight. You could have given a 10-9 round in the second to Crawford and given Mueller the first and third, and Mueller winning. There could be a million different outcomes to this fight. Yeah, I see this fight as a draw, but it doesn't matter to us. It's all what the judges say. So let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards this evening, your winner by unanimous decision and the 145 title belt winner with a three fight pro contract, Trayvon Crawford! Trayvon Crawford taking the win, earning the contract with Shamrock FC and earning that title belt tonight. Yeah, and that, like we said, that could have gone either way. That's the way I scored it. I gave the fight to Crawford, uh, but very well of, could have been a draw or even a win for Mueller. Trayvon Crawford taking the huge win here. The leg kicks were what set this contest apart. Yeah, he put, Mueller down several times in that second round with vicious leg kicks. Big win here coming from Trayvon Crawford and we still have more action to come and we'll be right back right here at Shamrock FC.